Hi friends, the twist is the measure of the spiral rotation of the yarn in order to keep the fibers together. The twist can simply be defined as a number of turns in certain length. The twist on the yarn can be to the right or left direction. The twist strengthens the yarn. The yarn's strength is directly proportional to the amount of twist on the yarn. However, the increase in the strength is not constant. More twisting after a certain point will reduce the strength of the yarn. Therefore, the twist amount should be in accordance with the yarn's utilization purpose. For this test, we use a twist measuring unit, tensioner weights, a control injection or magnifying glass, and a sample to be tested. Firstly, the test samples must be conditioned at standard atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. Then, the conditioned sample is tested in a twist measuring device. At first, we prepare the device for the test. The twist measuring device has two nippers. Each of these nippers has the ability to move in either direction. We primarily determine the twists of the two-fold yarn. In order to determine the direction of the twist, nearly 10 centimeters of the yarn are hung down and used. The examined yarn is an S-twist yarn. So we are selecting S-twist in the device settings as the twist direction. After nearly five meters of yarn have been taken from the bobbin, it is cut by the help of the scissors. Then, to prevent the twist loss, the yarn is firstly placed at the moving nipper and then at the other nipper. And the tensioner weight is placed for the yarn whose number is already determined. The distance between the two nippers is set at 50 centimeters. Then the test is started by pressing the start button. And then, by the help of a needle, we test whether the twist is open or not. We carry on the test until the twist becomes fully open. As you can see, the twist is fully opened now. Once the twist is opened, the value is read from the counter. Such 20 samples are tested in the same way. An arithmetic mean of the 20 test samples is taken and the final twist value is obtained. The obtained value is then multiplied by 2 in order to have the twist value per meter.